Only on 10 News, danger on the road, a driver armed with a gun loose on our streets. You wouldn't think that that frustration would want to make you kill somebody. That man says a drive in El Cajon quickly turned into a road rage scene from the movies. One foot was from my wife's head from where that bullet went through this window. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals what led to the horrifying encounter. Right now I'm inside a Jeep looking right through a reminder of a drive turned road rage nightmare. Before the loud shots, I heard a big bang. A thoroughly uneventful drive. Dick Callahan and his wife, who live in Nevada on Magnolia Avenue early Monday evening. And I got stuck out in the middle of the intersection. Callahan says he inadvertently cut off a truck speeding up to make a left turn. When I got into my turn, he was right here at my side. A short distance away, Callahan says the truck raced from behind him. And he turned around all the cars and came out in front of me. And cut him off. Callahan says he decided to back off and give the truck space in front of him. A few minutes later. I turned to the right, right here. He dropped, got out of that lane and fell right in behind me. Callahan says the truck came right alongside him on Winter Gardens Boulevard. And he throws up his hands. Moments later. A great big explosion. A back window shattered. We were feeling really shaken up. When they pulled over, Callahan, who has worked at a gun range, saw two holes. There was a hole here about the size of a nine millimeter, and this hole was also the same size. The holes vanished when the glass fell away. He's still searching for the bullets, but he doesn't need to find them. One foot was from my wife's head. To know how this case of road rage. And this is a naturally tinted window. There could have been a youngster, a grandkid in the back seat. Could have turned out. You wouldn't think that that frustration would want to make you kill somebody. Michael Chen, 10 News. Well, here's a description of the gunman. White man, 25 to 33 years old, wearing a blue or black baseball cap with a blue and black band around it. He was driving a white late model pickup, possibly a Chevy. If you have any information, call the CHP in El Cajon.